Today's question comes from Christopher in Oklahoma. For the past six years, I've been going in circles, making purchases on a credit card. I pay it off, and the same thing happens again. Last year, I got myself into $1,500 worth of debt. Seems like I can never pay it off because more debt accrues like medical and dentist bills that eats up my money. I'd like to move forward, but I'm paralyzed by this. It feels like I'm working like crazy, fanatically running in circles like a chicken with my head cut off. A tired hamster in a wheel. Yeah, man, we've all had that feeling. So, there's a saying the 12-steppers have, Christopher. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again and you expect a different result, that's the definition of insanity. And so, let your frustration with the situation rise to the level that you get pissed off enough to do something about it and change. You have to change. My friend Les Brown, the great motivator, says people change their lives only when they finally say, I've had it. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's when you change. People do change is just too difficult. People will do the same thing. We all do. We drive the same way to work. We sit in the same place in church. We'll do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. I've been wearing the same pair of blue jeans for 10 years. I mean, we just don't change. We don't change. We'll keep doing the same old stuff and wonder why things aren't changing, because we had not changed at all. But, man, if you get mad enough, if you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you finally say, I've had it, that's when you'll change. Now, what would you do if you got that mad? Um, you'd start selling stuff. You'd take an extra job. You'd actually get on a budget, and you'd write out a budget, and then you'd actually live on the budget. You'd get the Every Dollar app. It's free, and do out, lay out your game plan. It takes 10 minutes. You go, here. where's my money going? A budget's people telling their money where to go instead of wondering where it went. You'd sell stuff. You'd amputate the Tahoe. You'd chop up the stupid credit cards and vow to never use them again. But as long as there's not enough pain to activate you to change, you'll probably just sit in the slop of mediocrity. So the interesting thing is you can just decide one minute later to be pissed off. I've had it! That's when things change. I was a little kid, a little redneck hillbilly kid. We run in and out of the house, all the neighborhood kids running in and out of the house, running in and out of the house, running in and out of the house, letting all the air conditioning go out, yelling, screaming, running through the house like wild, crazy people. Finally, after a while, my mother would have enough. Y'all know what I'm talking about? When mom was having enough, she'd say, that's it. The worm has turned. Now, we had no idea what that meant, except the beatings were getting ready to begin. That's all we were sure of. The worm has turned. Turns out it's Shakespeare. Who knew mom knew Shakespeare? But there you go. And The worm has turned. It's over. I'm done. That's it. I've had it. No more. And you got to have that moment. That's when people lose weight. That's when their marriages get better. That's when their crazy, wild children straighten up. That's it. I've had it. You suddenly start putting up boundaries. You no longer have people taking advantage of you. You leave a toxic situation. I've had it. But it's a decision, isn't it? It's interesting. You can just wake up and decide to say that and mean it. Nothing really physically has to change. No circumstances has to change. The only thing that changes is between your two ears, that little six-inch space there. And you go, you know what? I have a choice. I get to choose my dignity. I'm not going to live like this anymore. And that's when people get out of debt. That's when they get on a budget. And that's when their friends who have not become disgusted with their mediocre lives make fun of them. And that's what's going on. You just got to reach that point, though, that that's it. I'm done. It's a great moment, by the way. And I, it's happened to me several times in my life at, at, on different subjects. I mean, spiritually, it, it's when I fell on my face before God and said, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. That was an I've had it moment. That's a spiritual moment, right? I'm changing things. I don't use the words I used to work, use as adjectives. <laughs> I don't treat people the way I used to treat people. <laughs> One old lady I heard said, I was at our house, stupid's a cuss word. I said, well, you didn't grow up where I did, darling. <laughs> uh, but you have an I've had it moment. I changed. It's called, it's called repentance. You change direction. 
You change direction. It's a 180. I'm walking one way. I'm driving down the interstate the wrong direction. And you go, crap, I'm going the wrong way. And you get off the exit. Go under the bridge. Take a left. And get back on going the right way. And the little lady in your phone will tell you that you have done the right thing in her little passive-aggressive voice. I still think they ought to program those phones with your wife's voice, but I don't, what do I know? But anyway, yeah. I told you you're turning around. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You know what happens when you get off the interstate and turn and go back the other way? You have changed. If you were driving 70 miles an hour, you have changed the direction of your life at 140 miles an hour. You're no longer going 70 the wrong way. Now you're going 70 the right way. That's a delta of 140. That's what happens when you say, I've had it. And Christopher, I think that's in your future, my man. I love it.